you began to feel sick. And at first you may think it's something simple. And after a couple of days, it gets worse. So you go to the doctor and find out that you have been ill due to the water you're drinking. Imagine not being able to shower or when brush your teeth due to the fear of this would happen again. And are you sure that the water you're drinking is as clear as crystal and safe for your health? Hello everyone, my name is Yashashree Polapoli and today I will be talking about water pollution. Now, Yashashree, what exactly is water pollution? Well, water pollution is the pollution of bodies of water such as lakes, rivers, seas, oceans, as well as groundwater. It occurs when pollution reach these bodies of water. According to Wola.com, around 70% of industrial waste is dumped to water. More than 6 billion pounds of garbage, mainly plastic, end up in the ocean every year. 15 million children under the age of 5 die from diseases caused by drinking contaminated water. The main problem caused by water pollution is that it kills organisms that depend on these water bodies. Think about those dolphins that swim in Amazon rivers. Think about those seagulls that live in seashores. Think about other sea animals. They often wind up on beaches killed in their own environment. As Mr. Bernard Marcus said, if over pollution continues, if over pollution continues, most of these species will be disappeared off the face of Earth. In nine years, there will be eight billion people living on this planet. That means over five billion people will be living in stress water conditions. Five billion. Let me tell you a little story. Imagine this is the year 2040. Your beautiful lush green backyard has changed to dried brown shrubs. You won't be able to water it because there's an active ban on watering it. And then when you go to the supermarket, there's fewer and fewer food available. Your home tap water is no longer potable, so you have to buy from the store. This isn't just a normal story. This will or this might happen somehow soon. The Mississippi River carries an estimate about 1.5 million metric tons of nitrogen in the Gulf of Mexico, creating a dead zone about the size of New Jersey. We're killing our mother nature. There are 7 billion people living on this planet. And if each and every one decides to actively decrease the amount of water consumption, we could make a difference. And do not think one little drop of water will not make a difference. How about we don't dispose cleaning agencies or household chemicals down the sink? We can use less plastic. We can avoid detergents and leashes. We can use less pesticides. We can work together and make our future bright. Thousands have love without love, not one without water. Save water, save life.